Previously on The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. He lit more glasses on fire. My employer does not fall that easy. And who might that? He already told me. It's Moriarty. Okay, cheer up. As you can see, 14 hours ago, one of our government facilities, Bethlehem, the Bethlehem, in one of my home med medical research was broken into. The research was modified in malaria to be related to any anti malaria drug, and all other generic modified simple. But simple was so. And why should I care? Well, because. During the case, like 20 seconds ago when you were walking. And that's when he returned to find the lab like this, plus the bodies of his colleagues. So he heard a noise, he said. Yes, a scratching noise. Interesting. Coming from this door here. Exactly. Hmm. Was it a scritch or more of a scratch scratch? Uh, it was just a scratching noise, never specified. Interesting. So, you're saying that only the scientists have access to these facilities? It's highly restricted. You're right. Only the scientists have access here. And what about the Prime Minister? Trudeau? No, Boris Johnson. Yes, of course, Trudeau. Who else would I be talking about? Well, you have an accent and I, I just don't... Sorry? What accent? I, don't worry about it. How fast can we get to the Canadian White House? Stop right there! What have you done with Trudeau? I'm afraid you're too late. What have you done, you murderous mistress? Nothing. I can assure you Justin is perfectly fine. Here we see it. I'm impressed you found out it was me, Sherlock. You put me in jail once before. I doubted you would be able to do it again. That's stupid. I'm Sherlock frickin' Holmes. How did you figure it out? You never even explained, Sherlock. Well, you see, it was tough at first. This evil mastermind had a hard code to crack. Some would say harder than the Zodiac Killer himself. Now, at first there was nothing unusual, but I remembered that the witness had heard a scratching noise coming from the door. I went over to check, and it all seemed perfectly normal. Until I found something on the ground. Wrong pocket, sir. Right. This. A fake nail. Now, I knew none of the scientists in the lab wore fake nails, and the only person with access to the facility were the scientists, or the Prime Minister. Unless someone had borrowed 
the Prime Minister's keys. And when I say borrowed, I mean borrowed. Now, I also recognize that these, these nails had a very distinct pattern. And you know where I recognize them from? From this. Now, I recognized it from this very article. It was all over the news a few weeks ago. And after close inspection, I zoomed in on the face of the mistress of Trudeau, and I found that it was the man who I had once imprisoned all those years ago. Impressive, Sherlock. But riddle me this. Why would I want a bioweapon? It's simple, really. You wanted the bioweapon for revenge. You got close to the Prime Minister so you could get close to the bioweapon. All for petty revenge. That's correct, actually. But I'm afraid we both can't make it out of here alive, Mr. Holmes. Ah. Watson! Now, one of these contains the bioweapon. One doesn't. You pick one, drink it, and I'll drink the other. Why not just shoot me? Because I'd like to leave it up to chance. And they only had one bullet. waste your bioweapon on just one person. None of them contain the bioweapon. And you, my friend, are going back to prison. Well played, Mr. Holmes. Well played. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I will take him to our top secret containment site. No need to worry. Moriarty will help me out yet again. What did you say? 